Welcome training campers, in this training module we will learn, engine room resource management and how do you apply it on board ship. ERM, is an approach to achieve a ship safe navigation by appropriately managing the resources of personnel, equipment and information in the machinery space, and by effectively utilizing them. So, allocation, assignment and prioritization of resources, effective communication, assertiveness, leadership, situational awareness, consideration of team experience and knowledge of ERM principles are stipulated in the amended competence table as an essential requirements in practicing ERM. In addition, management of resources includes personnel management, equipment management and information management, and personnel management means that personnel are appropriately arranged based on their qualifications, their experience, and their certifications. Equipment management is to manage the operation and maintenance of machinery, and running maintenance records. Information management is to manage records of information, sharing of information and appropriate understanding in response to information. It said that full practice of ERM is essential to ensure the ship's safe navigation especially in such a situation of entering slash leaving ports where operational condition is continuously changing. And now resources. There are personnel, equipment and information as resources. Personnel and resources are a human resource to be allocated for safe navigation and are required to have competency to manage and utilize other personnel as well as appropriate qualification for performing tasks. In addition, the personnel are required to be well versed in the functions of equipment upon his or her position to have the capability to utilize information from the equipment and to confirm the functions are being demonstrated. Equipment should be set up and run as required to meet all the requirements for the safe operation of the ship and all the equipment required should be fully functional. Information comes from many sources, it may be external to the ship, personnel, running and maintenance records, drawings, instruction manuals and equipment. There are two types of information from the equipment, one, the information such as alarms and operation data that automatically comes from equipment, like a monitoring system, two, the information such as leaking, running sounds and vibrations detected by personnel using their five senses. All information must be appropriately understood, shared and utilized for the safe navigation of the ship. Let's go to utilization of information, entering slash leaving port. Personnel station when entering slash leaving a port can maintain their motivation and the effective operation of machinery with an excellent teamwork by sharing information relating to their ship consequences from the bridge and information the team members have. Particularly, the information from the bridge enables the engine room personnel, for whom it is difficult to know the navigational situation of the ship to take proactive actions resulting in growing assuredness and swiftness of the machinery operation, preventing faulty operation. Let us now go to engineering watch. When operating and maintaining engine room machinery, it is essential for personnel in charge of an engineering watch to try to find any sign of malfunctions, that is, information from the machinery by personnel using their five senses through engine room rounds. In fact, there are many cases that the information about running sounds, leaks, vibrations and the like detected through such machinery rounds, can be utilized to prevent incidents.
In addition to that, the personnel need to undertake the watch, understanding operation procedures, functions, features and operation data of the machinery by obtaining information from manuals, typing diagrams, status boards and others as well as the information taken over from the previous watch engineer officer. And let's proceed to operation and maintenance topic personnel assigned to manage specific installations need to perform duties such as operation maintenance and management of spare parts then making operation and maintenance plans by obtaining thorough information concerned in operation and maintenance through thoroughly reading instruction books furthermore the personnel need to provide their successors with sufficient and appropriate information by leaving detailed records of operation, maintenance and consumption of spare parts. For this topic, we will focus about requirements of ERM allocation and assignment. Allocation and assignment of resources can be said that they are requirements relating to human resources. It indicates that personnel being assigned tasks upon his or her position should appropriately be allocated in order to maintain safe navigation. Particularly, when entering or leaving ports, establishment of adequate command system and effective machinery operation system are necessary to ensure the safe navigation and appropriate allocation of personnel is essential for this purpose. In allocating personnel, allocation of experienced personnel depending on the situation, and training of an experienced personnel should be taken into account based on the idea that matches the right person to the right place at the right time in the machinery space. Prioritization Prioritization is usually set up in operating or handling machinery. But, when personnel carry out the assignment in various situations, they need to work on the tasks giving consideration and decision making to prioritization, in some cases. In such a case, personnel need to make a prioritization, taking into account its safeness, urgency and adequacy. Communication Communication is an information exchange necessary for maintaining safe navigation. In this information exchange, there are forms of order, response, provision of information and report, according to the scenes of ship's operation, and effective communication means that this information exchange is being fully carried out. Before each communication, the rank Personality and awareness of personnel should be reflected upon, to determine how much information exchange is necessary. Effective communication could be blocked if these human factors are not properly considered. Furthermore, it can be said that a lack of communication is largely caused by the attitude of both sides. Therefore, personnel need to try to ensure there is enough information exchange, with a recognition of the importance of effective communication, and of sharing information. This illustration shows an example of a lack of communication that even though the veteran, who was watching the maintenance work, knew more an effective way on doing the job, but, he said nothing, since he was not asked. Assertiveness Assertiveness generally means a human element that enables personnel to sincerely and equally communicate with others, without violating the right of others. It is often necessary, for personnel to be assertive within the workplace. That is to say, having made a judgment necessary for maintaining safe navigation, personnel have to assert their judgment without any hesitation, notwithstanding their position and hierarchical relationship within the workplace.
especially, in an emergency case or after an in-depth consideration, the person responsible at the station must clearly assert his or her decision with uncompromising stance, avoiding unclear assertiveness. It may at times be necessary, to ask a senior officer to explain the appropriateness of a decision they have made, or even to alert a superior officer, if you consider that they have made an inappropriate decision. Remember, assertiveness is a behavior that meets the element of, notify in any doubt, in ERM principles, and is therefore an inherent element of ERM. This illustration shows an example of assertiveness. The first engineer is telling to the third engineer that he should make a changeover of the auxiliaries, utilizing this chance. But, the third engineer expresses his concerns to do that, since the ship is under standby condition. Leadership Leadership is an essential human element necessary for practicing ERM. Leadership is a skill necessary to achieve joint tasks, and requires situational awareness, and the competence to lead, understanding how to influence and motivate other personnel. Situational Awareness Situational awareness is a competence available to act proactively in various situations, and to precisely determine the existence of risks, the possibility of environmental pollution, illegal situations and the likelihood of incidents. It is essential to have a complete awareness of the situation, so that necessary measures and actions can be taken proactively, in order to prevent the occurrence of incidents and environmental pollution. In this illustration, shows an example of situational awareness, that the third engineer, on machinery rounds found heavy objects placed on the floor, and he was thinking he had to lash them, since heavy weather was coming. Consideration of team experience Consideration of team experience means, taking into account the experience of all members of the team, in order to achieve safe navigation and watchkeeping. It may be the case, that even a new joiner may have certain experience and skills that could be useful to the team leader, in a certain situation. It is therefore necessary, that the team leaders understands the background, and experience of all members of their team. To recap this module, summary of ERM application on board ship. It is all about the knowledge of engine room resource management principles, including allocation, assignment, and prioritization of resources, effective communication, assertiveness and leadership, obtaining and maintaining situational awareness, and consideration of team experience.